Hello, my name is Barter, and this is Let's Play Forced. Forced is an action RPG with puzzle-like elements with balls. And it was released on Steam October 2013, and it was published and developed by Beta Dwarf. Uh, and it's uh, now available for purchase on Steam for $14.99. Now, before we jump headlong into Forced and start talking about game features and mechanics, I have a partner in crime, a co-host, a yin to my yang, a buddy cop movie, whatever you want to call it. What's your name, sir? My name is Teo, but you can also refer to me as Saveman. Uh, he's my, my stepson, guys. He's going to help me play this game. That's a big feature about this game, guys. It is a cooperative game, guys. That's kind of the highlight of this game. And it encourages you to play with others. So we're just going to go ahead and start the game here so that we can get... You're not ready. Sorry. How did you not... How did you unready yourself? I want them to see my derpy Batman picture. Oh, right. I forgot to mention your derpy Batman picture. Which is hilarious, by the way. I love your derpy Batman picture. Your googly eyes Batman character there. But yeah, we're going to be playing uh, Forced today, guys. Forced is kind of like a weird combination of RPG and Diablo. It's, it's a very strange game, say least. Where are these naked dudes right here? And it also involves naked men and blue balls. And there is, yes, the ball basically helps us solve certain elements. And we could both call it to us. And sometimes we like to fight over our balls. As like so. But uh, today we're going to just do a couple levels for you guys. The game has four distinct classes to kind of get you through this arena style of boards. There's 25 boards total. Uh, but four classes and kind of just to get, get you started. Uh, I'm going to choose the big red dude here who has a big flaming hammer. And you are going to choose... The Captain America Ice Shield guy. The Ice Shield guy, correct. Who's more defensively based. All of them, of course, have... A, a, attacking capabilities but each of them brings something different to the game like um for instance the archer class here obviously has long range distance attacks and it doesn't necessarily have to be in anyone's face to hit them or this fast green guy who just likes hitting people with his sharp knives well he can also actually heal people with his abilities each of them has their own distinct i guess you could say skill tree their own abilities that they access as they progress further and further into the game and kind of complete challenges and time modes and things like that. You unlock more and more abilities. For instance, my class here, which I technically, I don't even know what the name of my class is. It's just, I call him Big Flaming Hammer Dude. Uh, I have for me. Flame Nato and Volcanic Slam. And then you also have passive abilities that you can use that kind of boost your character innately. They don't exactly aren't active. So I'm going to go ahead and take... Uh, what are, hold on here. You have already your ability set, dude? Yep. I'm going to take Volcanic Slam and Destructive Battery. Destructive Battery increases the maximum number of charges on the hammer. is increased by 10, allowing it to charge one second longer. And you'll, I'll explain that to a, little while, a little bit. We're going to be doing try three levels here. We're going to try to get to the boss, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. And not have any technical difficulties like we just did have. I don't know. My guy was running into Your a controller corner. took a shit on you, basically, is what happened. And that's another thing. The game's completely... Uh, you can play with your keyboard. You can play with controllers. The controlling... I'm using Logitech. He's using an Xbox controller. It takes some finagling, but most controllers do work with the game. All right. Let's hope I don't run into a corner. And this is how kind of all the... Yeah, it looks I'm good, like I'm you're good. good. Right, now remember, you're going to be taking care of the ball. I'm going to be covering you. And basically, for this board, we have to destroy these... Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> we have to destroy these statues. Dude, yeah. what is wrong with you? Um, so I'll, I'll be handling all the balls. And well, the way you accomplish that is there's kind of like these uh, these totems, these these poles standing around. And each of them does their own different thing. You can go ahead. I'm just going to keep talking to you. <laughs> As you can see... I'm just going to cover you. If I want the ball to be explosive, I shove it into a hand. Right, and if he were to kind of bring that near him, run it into a wall right now, it would explode and possibly kill him or I, or do a massive amount of damage either way. What we're trying to do oh, here... Crap, 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 crap. <laughs> I'm so sorry. He's not exploding. Dude. I could not cover you with that, all right? That was not my fault. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Ow. Okay. You know what I said I could cover you, by the way? I ain't covering you. Uh, I might have lied. There's quite a few of them. Hold on, I'll try to get the blue ball back to me. Okay, just, yeah, just, oh my god. Okay. So like I say, there's totems. <laughs> and they do different things. This one right here that I'm standing by kind of speeds you up. The one right here gives you kind of like a healing wave, which we might want to... 
Okay, you are going to be able to get that done, right, dude? I mean, I can trust you to handle your balls correctly, sir. Of course you can handle me to handle yeah, I'm not going to, no, I'm not handling your balls. You are handling your own balls, dude. All right, don't get that thing near me, though, by the way. Okay, I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to trip. Oh, my God. <laughs> what is wrong with you? I'll try to be a lot more Well, quick. we're definitely not going to make the time challenge, that's for sure. But as you can see, when we were fighting, they had these little white dots above their heads. Right, and that those are like, kind of like marks. And that enables you to kind of, once you fully mark somebody up, you can do... Oh, we already blew up that statue, though. Yeah, I'm getting this. Oh, okay, so we're doing that bad. Okay, I thought you didn't even get this one. I was like... Tch. Oh, my <laughs> God. Okay, let me help here. Oh, sorry! Are you dead? <laughs> I'm fine. I just very low health. Okay, okay. You know what? We're going to want to get... Dude, watch out, dude. I don't want you to die. Okay, we're going to call the ball and try to activate the healing totem. Get the balls to the walls. Yes, balls to the walls. Oh, crap, crap, crap. Uh, we got an enemy totem thing here. And sometimes not all the totems are always beneficial. Sometimes they'll do things like summon the enemy. Go ahead, dude. Call it. Call it yourself. I don't, I don't know. You need the healing, dude. Call it. Call it. Call it. Call it. What are you doing? I'm trying to get to yours. Yeah, all I know, right. but you need the health more than to destroy that thing right now. Okay, now go ahead and try the statue to handle gonna, my balls. Oh my god, <laughs> that's another thing that could be slightly uh, a pain. The enemy can get in the way of the shots and kind of well detonate the ball, as you saw. This one's up, dude. This one's up. Oh, grab that shortcut. I'm not even gonna get near you because you're gonna blow yourself up. If you die, I have no idea what happens when you die. I think, um, I don't know if you can respawn. Do you respawn? Yeah, you, you get one more chance. Okay, now here comes somewhat of a mini boss esque character. Oh my god. I'm gonna start wailing on him as best as I can. He's kicking my ass, though. Dude, um, I think I just died. Oh. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> um, I'm gonna have to handle. You're, you're on your own, these man. These guys. Uh, resurrected, I resurrected in 20 seconds. So if you just want to run around for a while, avoid that big dude's shot, that would be great. Alright, I'm going to start heading towards... I want to be a fast man. Alright. There you go. Good idea. Now he basically has activated a speed boost so he can proficiently run away. Because I died like a douchebag. Oh, there we go, there we go. I'm back, I'm back. I'm back. Oh my god. Yeah, not for much longer. Oh my god. Here, I'll, I'll get the healing... For the love of God! Alright. What do we do to piss this guy off? Oh God! Kill him! Hit him with everything you've got! Does he mark up? No. Yeah, he does mark up. Yeah, he's. Uh, I got him at five marks right now. Alright, I killed him. There you go. Good job. Nice. That was horribly done. Obviously, we are not very good at this game. We're so unprofessional. But at least we got it done. That's what matters. That's what counts. As you can see, the game is just kind of chaotic, and that was just a mini boss. And we're going to be trying to take on the main boss, which means we're probably going to get slaughtered here. But we got one crystal for that, and you basically, every time you complete a board, you get a crystal no matter what you do. Even if you don't complete the challenge or the time mode, you get a crystal nonetheless. None, oh, sorry, excuse me. Nonetheless. 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 I bit my tongue there. I don't know what this challenge is. This one's going to be called a slow death. Players must sign still. Okay, apparently oh, we have. We got new skills. All oh, right. Okay, so we got as you get more crystals, like I said, you get more and more skills. For instance, I got a new one right here. Uh, if I can access it, that would be great. I got a new skill where I can move faster. Sweet. And I got call meteor calls out a flaming meteor to strike down a location. That sounds pretty freaking sweet to me. I'm gonna try that one out. I think my blue ball agrees. Uh, oh, look, I got like this reticle thing here. Look at that. Use it. Oh, that's oh, pretty cool. That was, that was, that's freaking dope. That was lamer than I expected. What are you, that was totally awesome. I think you're just jealous because you get, <laughs> you get to run around a little bit faster and I get to shoot down flaming balls on the enemy here. Flaming. So as you can see, there's, there's many different styles of play, guys. As you get more and more abilities and more and more passives, you can change your character to play them whatever way you like, really. And with four distinct classes, you can have def definitely many different games. Whoa, that thing is that damaging is an us. ominous looking statue. What are we supposed to do? Disrupt the mist. How do we disrupt it? It seems to be getting closer to us, and I don't like it. 
Uh, okay, so we send the ball through it, and that disrupts it. Otherwise, it's going to keep growing and trying to kill us, though. Kill the acid imp. Die! Oh, I've never seen that one before. That's, yes, well, there's several different types of enemies. Not all of them are the same. Oh, this one shoots stuff at us, dude. They have, like, a long-distance attacker now. Oh, my God. Okay. You got him. You're the hammer guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Except he's kicking my ass. As you can see on the bottom right of the screen, there's our health, and as well as kind of like our timers, letting, the mist get out of letting us know um, how much time it takes for us to um, use yeah. our abilities again. I just wanted to quit use a quick heal on us. Oh, dude, that guy just totally. Yeah, I'll, I'll go right oh crap! Down. Okay, I'm gonna try to get rid of the mist, dude. The mist, I guess, another element to the game, I guess you could say, kind of looks like it slows you down and damages you over time. So you gotta make sure to, well... Here, I'll call the ball over on my side. Do it, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that we get rid of it completely this time. Alright, we got it. We gotta kill six acid imps. <laughs> Again, we're not exactly making our time challenge here. At least we're doing better than we were last board, for God's sakes. Oh, let me get this statue. Or the... Yeah, that's one of, the, one of those things, that, like I said, one of those um, totems summons enemies. So you gotta be very aware of your environment as much as where the enemy is coming from. You have to keep just a, a track of a lot of things. I am desperately low on health, by the way. Go um, to the healing shrine. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the healing shrine and get my ball. Okay. <laughs> All right, there we go. I got the, the healing shrine activated on my sweet self here. We need to get rid of this fog here. Ugh. Oh, so this would be helpful. Dude, call it, call it, call it, call it. Got it. There we go. Good job. I'm gonna try to. Oh my god. Here, cut. Uh, I'm gonna try to call it, yeah. I need to get in a better position, though. Hey, you know what would be useful, though? If you used that speed boost and did this yourself, you punk. Okay, I'm gonna call it. Call it. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. We got rid of it now. Now, we all need to do is hopefully finish off these imps. You got it over there? That's the imp right there, dude. You got it? behind the corner. Alright. I got it. There we go. Oh. Ah! Wrecking their days. I want to use my, um... Or lack of. Oh, he dodged out of my meteor attack. Meteor attack, uh, I have a feeling I need to find a way to increase that thing's range. Alright, so there's the last imp. Oh, I thought I had him. Oh, God. I do not like him. No. Where's the blue ball? Oh, oh, there he is. There you go. Alright. Oh, my gosh. So we still have to kill some of them acid imps? We got one more. Okay. I got him. Uh, oh. You just activated the boss. <laughs> I didn't mean to. Uh, Alright. So I'm going to oh, try to get us... after me. He's pissed. I'm going to try to get us a heal here. Come to me! I got the healing thing. Alright, let's just wail on him. We should be able to take care of him. There we go. Beautiful shots. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Hit him while he's right. down, hit him while he's down, hit him while he's oh, down. There you go. There you go. He's dead. Yeah. And we did much better on that board, at least. We did fantastic on that board. Did we get the challenge? No, we did no, not. No, not. What was the challenge, though? It says, don't touch the mist. That would be the challenge. That sounds hard. Dang. <laughs> as you can see, some of the challenges varying from kind of simplistic to, well, that, that sounds like it would be a very hard nice. challenge. But then again, we didn't know what it was. So this time, if we did the board again... It has that replay vi uh, I'm sorry, replayability in it all. You can go back into boards and try to beat the time mode, try to get the challenge. You don't actually have to do it all at once, but it just adds a lot of replayability. And every time you, obviously, I guess you get through about five boards or so, you finally get access to the boss of the area, which is what we're going to try to accomplish for you here, guys. I'm pretty much probably going to end the video after we beat the boss. Uh, I don't Here. think we got any new abilities. You gonna switch classes? Yeah, I think I'm gonna use the bow guy. Uh, I'm gonna stick with my hammer, dude, because I am not really as familiar with the other classes, and I'm not gonna say I'm as, I'm not as confident with them. God knows I've sucked already so far. Uh, you're gonna want to set your abilities if you're gonna be using the uh, the ranger, dude, okay. or the archer, whatever you want to call him. Let's see what I. Have. He has like a chain lightning shot. He's a very much distant attacker. He's really good if you have someone covering him. Like the hammer guy or the shield guy, um, he can just sit back from far and just rain destruction on people. I'm gonna go ahead and switch out um, meteor strike because I just I didn't like it as much. Instead, I'm gonna have like this tornado ability, which kind of makes me 
uh, completely unstunnable and lets me kind of build up marks on several enemies really, really quickly, which lets me do more devastating attacks. Whenever you're all set, man, we will go in there and try to um, take down this boss, dude. I'm ready. You ready? With my strobe lights. Your strobe lights. Uh, that class is a little bit different. It's kind of a little harder to play. You sure you're going to be able to pull it off? I'll try. You'll try? All right, so yeah, 25 levels. That's not including boss levels, which oh. is what this one is right here. I guess we have to make our way to him. He's a big, oh horny gosh. demon. He's very horny. Yeah, he's really Prepare horny. For the final push. There's leaderboards, basically. Remember, as you saw, every talk. time we complete one of the levels, hey, don't forget our balls, dude. Our balls? That's right. I'm my ball, all right? My ball. Fine. You can keep the ball, as long as you bring it with us. You, know, you can hold the button down. It'll stick to you as well. Oh, yeah. Sure. All right, let's do this. And each boss has different tactics. Ow. Do we have to make our way towards that center thing? I think in order to dodge that attack, you have to, hand, you have to stand behind the wall. Okay, yeah, but how do we make our way Maintain towards him without being easy. blasted back? All right, I, I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to tornado my way towards it. It should make me. Yep, I got to it. All right. I don't think I will. I'm running. All right, you gotta make your way up here, dude. <laughs> All right, I'll just sit down and light a cigarette here while you take your sweet ass time. This is not fair. <laughs> I can't if move. If you can, you can try to, <laughs> try to make your... Move up, dude. I can't. Oh. Dude, you, you got to be able to get up there. <laughs> All right. There you go. There you go. To That's to maintain your, your calm and stand still. Oh, i got to stand still when he does it. Oh! oh. <laughs> oh my god, he's, he's coming to kick our ass. Oh god. Okay, now take, start shooting him, dude. Dude, don't. Beast. You got my strobe lights right. Oh god. He's marked. Oh my god. Okay. Um, he's beating the crap out of me. Okay, is there healing totems in this board? Please god tell me there is. Whoa, that just did something to him. I don't know what. Well, he's marked. Okay, yeah, he's marked. Why don't you chill? Oh god. Why did he hit me? I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead, oh dude. I resurrected in 30 seconds. He's a boss. It's not my fault. He's tougher. Sorry. I am. Good luck, Archer. You're on your own there. <laughs> this is not fair. Well, if it was if it was easy, I think I should have stuck with my stuck with my blue guy. <laughs> I told you, dude. I don't know why he changed classes. But each class does have something off, you know, different to offer. Uh, you can play up to, to four players, and the game scales with the amount of players in the game. So you can actually just, as you can imagine, if you have four players, um, the bosses get tougher. And no, he's done, get him. Uh, you don't have to tell me twice. Oh my god, I, I wish there was a healing totem of some sort. There is healing. No, there's not, those are just, um, those just knock them back. Oh god. Oh, he's done. as much damage as I can. I'm dead. <laughs> Are you dead for good? No, I resurrect every 30 seconds. As long as you stay alive, we should be able to pull this off. Definitely a class, you know what, I'd uh, say, even though you don't think so, I think it's a good class to choose the archer for this fight, because he seems very melee-centric. He seems to want to get close to you, ram you. Dodge, dodge, dodge. There you go. Alright. Uh, so actually, picking the archer class is probably a good idea for this boss. You have uh, your other ability available to you. And I'm, oh, it is? I'm back in the fight. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, I can turn invisible. Uh, okay, wait a bit. I was doing my tornado attack. That's not fair. Okay. He's uh, up. He, I think he might, if we keep this up, he might be dead in... Like three years? Three years, yes. This be a very long video. Okay, so we'll just keep whacking him from behind. Oh, God. I'm dead. <laughs> wow. You know what? I can officially say I suck at this game. <laughs> Alright, he's done. You know what, dude? You can just win this fight all by yourself, I think. You don't need me here. I'm just holding you back. Don't hold me back, George. Alright. Uh, so yeah, there's many different builds, guys. There's, there's chaos, there's fun in the game. It's obviously a great cooperative game, guys. I'm enjoying myself. Are you enjoying yourself? I'm very much enjoying myself. Are you watching trying to... this guy, the Minotaur, has a great butt right there. 
you oh, that he gets all the Minotaur ladies. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get rid of these ads off of us here. At least I can accomplish. What is he? Do you think? I think he. I noticed that he gets angry towards whoever approaches him closer. I can seem to dodge him well. There we go. All right, he's down. He's totally gonna lose. All right, so I, I get his tactics. I think if we just kind of, we have to um, kind of like kite him around and bit beat the crap out of him while he's all stunned. And then we rinse and repeat over and over. Yeah, you're invisible. He can't see you. Yeah, it only lasts for a little while for me, though. It lasts longer for you. Ah, I keep missing that. Lightning arrows. All right, there you go. You should be able to finish him, dude. Cease. You know, I'm gonna. Uh, got him. Cease by the rules of arena. I declare the gladiators to be victorious. We beat him, dude. I can't. Be I died like four times. How many times you died? Like not at once. Zero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. You're better than me. What else is there? Oh. Impossible. I'll never be By tribesman scum, I will not accept this judgment. Oh, I thought it was over. Was that only the first phase? Are you freaking kidding me? I look pretty cool with my helmet on. I'm very happy for you and your helmet. Special helmet. I don't give a damn about your precious honor. I'll squash these weaklings. I'll show them. Hey, I can shoot. Um, do we have to fight him again? Oh my god. Dude, it isn't over. Oh my gosh. Am I dead? I think I'm dead. No, you're still alive. I can see you. Um, I am gonna die. Oh, great, dude. No, no. Bad time to be dead, dude. You're gonna resurrect in 26 seconds. Stay alive. Oh, yeah. Easier said than done. You slow hammer man. Alright, I'll just stay away from him until you get back. How do I respond? You press X when the timer is up. Oh dear God! Please stay away from me, pissed off Minotaur. He's gotten faster too. Are you sure, those are not healing cards. I'm pretty sure. When I pressed down, all it did was send out a wave. You're back though. Oh, oh God. Okay. So he all his tactics have basically kind of gone into like a phase two mode, where now he tries to ram us, and now he, um, I mean, not try to ram us. He kind of jumps up now, and sends out this huge wave of energy. I need to be invisible. Yes, if you can go invisible, that'd be great. Ow! That was good timing on the invisibility thing, cause oh my god, run away! Okay. He's very fast. Oh my god, I'm getting just whacked by these little minions, dude. Ow! Okay. Does that even do any damage? What's what's that? that his, his wave jump now. It doesn't really do it. Him hitting you does though. Like We're probably gonna die. Ah. Uh, I'm pretty sure we might have just lost it here. I don't think I'm gonna be able to. He's so close to death, though. Yeah, but I have like no health, and you just died. Just stay alive for 16 seconds. I believe in you. Yeah, I don't. Oh, I just know there was like giant blood stains coming from the gates. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come, get back in the game, dude. Five seconds. Oh, that's it. Oh. I lost. I lost it for us. He called you pathetic. I can't believe we're going to end the video in defeat. That's so sad. Oh, well. Well, anyway, guys. Anyway, guys. If you enjoy a chaotic cooperative combat with puzzle-like elements, Forest has plenty to keep you entertained for sure. It has quite a bit of replay value with the challenges and the time modes and the you know all the other things. RPG-like elements where you can level up your character, different playstyle, four distinct classes, up to four players, chaotic chaos, guys. It's a lot of fun. It's a great co-op game. I just want to say a big thanks to the developer. I had a lot of fun doing this video. I had a lot of fun playing this game, and I can see myself playing this game for quite a while. I know I enjoy playing it with my friends, my family. It's a great game. Uh, so remember to, to like, subscribe, and share for more future Indie View reviews. And this has been, well, before we actually cut out, is there anything you want to say before we go? Um, yeah. What? Strobe lights. Strobe lights, that's what you're about to say? Nice. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this review. This has been Let's Play Forced.